My name's Tom. I want to talk to you about my friend Ruben. I've known him for more than 18 years now. He's in Congress and running for U.S. Senate in Arizona now. But when I knew him, he was just a, a broken Marine, just returned from Iraq. Politicians tend to become this caricature to the public. But I want to show you the, the real human being that I've known for so long. I'm going to read some passages from this book. They call us lucky. Rats weren't the only animals we shared with the dam. There were our camel spiders large enough to ride on. A few of the guys would hunt them for sports. I tried not to mess with anything that can bite back. Any mission could be dangerous, given the nature of the enemy in the war. IEDs could blow you up whether you were stolen through a supposedly quiet town or charging a well-prepared hornet's nest. If you were a grunt, you'd maybe see a map or maybe a satellite image of the city you were gonna patrol. As far as you were concerned, you might be in Northern Iraq or Central or Timbuktu. Those first house searches went easy. We'd knock on the door, the man in the house would come in, lead us inside. The women would go to the sitting room, covering their faces. Kids were around or playing outside. I tensed, ready, expecting an attack, but none came. Blackhawk flew in and evacuated the injured. One of the men in the track lost his leg. Meanwhile, kids continued to play. Curious, I suppose, kids in the States would be. Just kids in the middle of a war. I'd just taken off my vest. And we heard a sharp crackling noise outside. No one knew what it was. We'd never heard real machine gun fire aimed at us before. I pointed my M16 at his chest. I barely kept myself from firing. He was holding a broom, not a rifle. We both knew it. He stepped back. Pale. I tried calming the kids standing behind him as the rest of the team searched the house. But emotionally, it was huge. I had proven myself I wasn't a coward. I could react under fire, follow orders, end my training without question or hesitation. And I hadn't shot that kid. Moments later, an IED went off down the road. Right where we would have been had we not stopped. Whoever was working the remote on that explosive had thought we had kept driving ahead. Lucky. I would have been dead had we proceeded. One last house remained to be checked. It looked like it would be a breeze. Lance Corporal Colin West went to knock on the door. His hand no sooner than touched it, and he was shot in both legs. In the few minutes the telly was gone, an insurgent or insurgents hidden somewhere inside had ambushed the Marines that were checking the house, blasting the interior with heavy machine gun fire. Goodwin was cut down inside. Something got ripped out of my body. Four men were dead and ten were injured. But at that moment, I could only hear one name. My chest pulled apart and I sank to my knees. And then I lost it. Grant couldn't be dead. None of us could. We were, quote, Lucky Lima. Urban was born in Chicago. His mom in Colombia and his dad in Mexico. He went from poor to really poor after his dad lost his construction business. Fell into drugs, arrested, sent to prison. Too stubborn to die poor, too smart for the cards he was dealt. He managed his way into Harvard College. There he worked at a meat packing plant, a janitor, and a bouncer to pay for what financial aid just wouldn't be covering. He joined the Marines as a mortarman, a reservist, after he got suspended from Harvard after his first year. The summer before his last semester at Harvard, he followed his new girlfriend off to New Mexico to work during the summer. Being a reservist, though, he was transferred to D Company of the 4th Reconnaissance Unit. And right when he got there, he was told to leave if he didn't want to go to Iraq. The unit was filling in for another unit of the 4th Division, 325. It was mostly from Ohio not New Mexico. But since his orders had not yet arrived, he had the option of going anywhere else and avoiding a deployment to Iraq. But as I said, too stubborn, too smart, maybe not. Either way, he was now going to Iraq. This was just a, just a glimpse of his journey. If this piqued your interest, check out his book on Amazon called They Were Lucky. Thanks. Thanks for listening about my friend.